Hey guys, welcome to another circle geometry tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, another uh, circle rule and this rule is that angles on the circumference subtended by the same arc are equal. So if you're not familiar with the term subtend, you probably need to go back to circle geometry lesson one where I explain what the term subtended means and uh, basically uh, now I'm gonna draw this situation in GeoGebra so you can see what this rule means so basically uh, I'm gonna create a circle and on this circle I'm gonna have um, two points that define where my arc is so between point C to point D is my arc and what I want to do is create an angle that these two points that my arc subtends uh, on the circumference so create another point on the circumference and then I'm gonna join up point C and point D to point E with the segment between two lines tool so click this button click that button sorry click this point and then click that point and I have a line joining C to E repeat the same thing from D to E so what I have now is an angle on the circumference subtended by the arc CD so I'm gonna um, label this angle uh, by using the angle tool um, draw the angle clockwise oops so let me try that again anti-clockwise sorry and uh, here we have the angle 35.99 degrees Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put another point anywhere on the circumference. So let's say I put the point here. And I'm going to join up point C to this point and point D to this point again. And I'm just going to see how big this angle is. And you can see that it's also 35.99. It doesn't matter where you relocate these points, it's always going to be 35.99 because both of these angles are subtended by this arc CD. Now, the only way I can make these angles change is if I change the length of my arc. So, as you can see, as I change the length of my arc, both of these angles will change, not just one of them. So this satisfies the rule that angles on the circumference, which are these two angles, subtended by the same arc, which is the arc CD, are equal. So these two angles are equal. So now I'm going to um, not show one of these angles. And I'm just going to uh, copy this picture into um, my drawing program and I'm gonna say angle X is uh, on this diagram here and the question is gonna be uh, find angle X and basically the very straightforward answer X equals 41.35 uh, reason is um, of the rule that angles on the circumference subtended by the same arc are equal and basically um, the code of this rule is just a diagram um, similar to what you have in the question that's the coded reason so hopefully in the test your teacher is not gonna make you write out this whole sentence um, <clears throat> as part of your answer 
hopefully they'll allow you to just write the reason um, sorry write the code as the reason but I guess that depends on which teacher you have okay uh, thanks for watching guys see you next time